hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is jennifer Ngomalo. i'd like to have you in this family by clicking that red subscribe button on the bottom and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up yes <laughs> just please take a few minutes to give this video a big thumbs up just smash that like button i'm just gonna give you a few seconds okay now that you've smashed that like button i really appreciate you so in today's video we're going to be doing the last part of the series on how to get a job in government and today we're going to be looking at how to sell yourself during an interview and so if you want to know more about that please stay tuned okay fam let us get into it so this is the last part of the series the first one we looked at how to find jobs which start to look for how to narrow your work experience in line with what would be best when it comes to vacancies and if you have done that then you moved into the next part which is cv writing and then on the cv writing we looked at okay how do you structure your cv that it best represents you that it doesn't has a lot of fluff and it goes straight to the point and we went into detail about that i hope that you went along with me and actually went back to your cv and just reworked it and then this last part is going to be on interview now that you have applied for your job you did a, the best that you could in terms of your cv you best represented yourself now that they they called you for an interview let us now get in to how you sell yourself face to face once you've been called for an interview it's a good indication that your cv was proper that you match the job you have the skills that they want and you will you might be capable to do the job however they now want to put the face to the cv and see if you really do match and also kind of detect if you are lying if everything was just bs or it was actually true and so now this is the most important part because you want to actually secure this job now how do you secure this job first thing that i would say is prepare 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 and when i'm saying prepare is i'm saying really prepare so remember on the first part of this video i say get a journal i said you must get a journal and i hope that you have it now a journal is not just a journal this is where you're going to have all your goodies this is where you're going to prepare this is where you're going to write this is where you're going to write your, your questions so let's say for instance you go online and you look at typical questions that they will ask for let's say for instance ad an admin officer you need to write those down i know that some people don't want to write they want to print everything but when you do that all everything just goes everywhere and then once you are done with that positions all those resources are going to be lost because they're just papers that you printed but if you have a journal something that is tangible like this you've taken time to write your questions you've written everything down you know that even though you've done this interview when another one comes up you have your journal to pick up and actually go back to then you can just add more questions if you feel that the ones that you have don't really align with the job that you're going to be interviewing for so it's very important to have a journal to have something that you are writing everything down so that you don't lose it easily okay and so i would say first point as i said prepare 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 so you are writing you are researching questions so based on the job that you are doing you're gonna have to go on google and actually research questions typical questions for an admin officer typical questions for an admin clerk typical questions for a supply chain officer for an hr hr officer you want to have those questions now not all questions that are there they're going to ask but you want to have those questions because the more you are prepared the more confident you will become write those questions down have them and then what i'll also do is as you are responding to these questions as you are writing responses to these questions the last thing that you want to do when it comes to preparing is you want to say it out loud be comfort be be more comfortable saying speaking these things out because the more that you do that the more easier it will not easier but the more confident you will become you want to get to a stage whereby you are confident enough to step into an interview room and actually don't feel jitters and don't panic and properly sell yourself and don't say a lot of ums ums you don't want to get into an interview room and be the saying ums second thing is don't be a robot i've seen <laughs> I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, um, that's where I'm going to leave it. I've seen 
you don't want to be a robot. You don't want to get in there and be a robot that, that regurgitates everything. Like if they ask you a typical administrative question, the next thing you do, you're going to regurgitate everything that you learned or everything that you Googled and found out and everything that everyone was helping you with. And you are just, you're not all over. However, because you are, you are so stiff and you want to regurgitate everything and not forget anything, it comes across as unnatural and it can be annoying. And remember, even when you were in school, lecturers didn't like someone who crammed a lot. And then when it comes to writing, they never showed their personality across. Instead, they just regurgitated what the books say. You don't want to be that person. So relax. Don't be a robot. Show them that you are human. If it means putting a smile there, put a smile there. I, mean, I smile a lot when, I, when it comes to interviews. Like if let's say, for instance, they ask me a question that I'm just like, oh, perfect. I'll smile and say, thank you for the question. And then I'll get into the moment you smile. That's when you calm down. You don't want to say, okay, thank you. And then ah, 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 you, you don't want to do that. Take your time relax there's no rush there is no rush those people are there until the end of the day until they see every candidate so you don't want to rush through your responses so that you can leave as soon as possible take your time that's what i do so when you get in there they ask you a question you thank them with a smile you say thank you for the question and then you start responding point number three is you need to go back to your cv now Remember, on my previous video, I did say that if you write your CV well, you're not going to struggle when it comes to interviews. And there's a reason for that. When you have written out your CV and you've aligned yourself to the job, what you have to do is just expand on that CV. Remember, an interview is an expansion of your CV. It's a matter of putting the face to the paper that they have there. And so you... Go back to your CV, refresh your mind on what it is that you actually said in that CV. If you didn't lie, this wouldn't be a problem because then you know these things, they come naturally. But if you lied, then you're going to have a problem. And so go back to your CV, refresh your mind, just expand on your CV. Whenever you're thinking of interviews, prepare more on your CV and also take time to look at your CV, look at your experience and your skills and just hone in on those when it comes to presenting them. Yes, they're not going to ask you exactly what is the CV flows. They might ask you something that will require you to pick it back on your CV. And so when you are aware of what is your what is in your CV and you understand it so well that it's natural, it will be easier for you to pick it back from your CV to strengthen your English, to strengthen your response. Then the first question that you will normally get is tell us about yourself. This is an icebreaker. Sometimes it gets scored, sometimes it doesn't get scored, but you don't want to take your chances and just half ass it. And so what you want to do here is you don't want to waste a lot of time responding to tell us about yourself. Here you want to tell them who you are and then also tell them how you qualify for the job. You want to start with the easiest thing. Start with the easiest thing. So I normally start with my name and surname. Yes, they know my name and surname very well, but I don't care. The reason why I start with my name and surname because that is the most natural thing. I say my name almost every day. Well, not almost every day, but I know my name. It's in the top of my head. So when I start with the thing that is most natural to me, it makes it easier for me to move with the response. Now, there's um, there are many ways that you can respond to this, but I find that it's very important that you structure this response in a way that it best represents you. Who are you? And then how do you qualify for this position and why you think that you qualify for this position? That's what you want to show them. And so if you start understanding that, it becomes easier for you to best represent yourself. As I said, you don't want to waste a lot of time on this question. However, you also don't want to have acid. You want to leave them knowing exactly who Jennifer is. So what I'll normally do is I'll say, thank you for the question. So my name is Jennifer Ngomalo. I was born and raised in Melmoth. I finished my grade 12 there and then I moved to Durban 
to further my studies where I studied in the University of KwaZulu-Natal. I did my bachelor's degree, my honors degree, and my master's degree, which I qualified for in 2017. After qualifying for my master's degree, I then moved, in, I then moved into a working environment where I then worked as an, an, as an intern in the department of this and this. In that role, I was responsible for one, two, three, and four. After finishing my internship, I was I was lucky enough to actually progress further into my career where I worked as a senior admin officer. You explain those things and currently I am in this position. You have actually told them who you are, what qualifications you have and how you qualify for the job based on what are the things that you have done. Then it's tell us about yourself. Done. Done. Ne? And then they will start asking you other questions When they start asking you about the other questions now relevant to the job and what they need from you please this is what i do and it has worked for me it works wonders every time it works wonders every time if they ask me about the other questions what i do is i always link it to my work experience so if they ask me about admin what i'll do is i won't just say i have administrative skills i will then go further to say take maybe one of my work experience let's say for instance i take my current work experience in my current role as a senior administrative officer i provide these administrative services which include and i'll break them down i'll break them down i'll break them down you are not just saying i have administrative skills and i've done it previously but you are saying Saying in what I've done take take your work experience take your qualification somewhere take whatever that you have done that will kind of emphasize your point use it if they ask you about computer skills you will tell them that you have good working working knowledge of computer skills in Microsoft packages which include Microsoft Word Microsoft Excel Microsoft Access Microsoft Outlook which you have used in your previous role and say for it for example in my previous role as an administrative intern i was responsible for writing letters i was responsible for writing communicate uh, i was also responsible for sending correspondence to whatever institution that you had to send correspondence to you are also responsible for data many or maybe let's say you take for another another work experience that you have that also in my senior administrative role that i've actually that i've been in in this section i was also responsible for data management and that's where i highly use applications such as access and excel they allowed me to better to better present the statistics and also the data that i was capturing expand now obviously the way that i'm responding is not perfect but if i were to go to an interview i would clean up my responses but what i'm saying is when you understand your work experience you understand the question always pick it back to from always pick it back on your work experience to expand on your response the reason why i'm saying that is that it provides value to your response it actually shows them how you qualify for this and that you have actually done these things you don't just know them because you've crammed them because the post says it wants them but you know how you've how you have applied it you know computer skills because you have done that you know administrative tasks because you have done it on this and this this you know report writing because in your previous job you were responsible for compiling submissions writing reports so you just want to summarize it nicely just to show them that you know that you've done that and you are very much equipped in that i have found that this works for me wonders if they asked you a question and you did not understand it ask them to repeat it if you are not sure about your responses yet ask them to pack it and get back to it but i try to avoid this because you when you're responding to other questions you're going to keep thinking there's a question that i didn't answer so answer all the questions but if you're really in a position whereby you just can't ask them to pack it and then go to the other questions but also if you didn't understand the question ask them to repeat it lastly if they say you have a question give them a question if let's say there's something that you want to understand ask them i ask questions i don't i know people say no don't ask questions what what no they just took time to ask me a lot of questions well if i'm given an opportunity to ask 
one question trust and believe that i'm going to take that question so what i do is before i get into my interview i already have a question in mind and so normally for this post there are certain things that you don't understand yes you know that they want an admin office i'm just going to give you an example yes you see that they want an admin, an admin officer they want an, an hr admin officer or supply chain admin officer however the section you don't know because you are working from outside you are someone that is external you don't know how the section function Take, take time to ask them about a typical day in their section. I remember there was the, the, the post that I'm in. I asked them that question. And the supervisor, who's now my supervisor, I had to just laugh because she was thinking of how hectic it is. And so she gave me a good picture of what the section looks like is it a stressful section is it a, is it a section that is busy is it a section that is the section that is chilled you know i got a good view of what i can expect if i were to get the job and by the time i left i knew that i would really like to work here because how she presented it in terms of the working environment and the type of job and the and the type of job that it is i felt like i would be more suitable for it and so if you don't know what question to ask always ask about the typical work day in the office now this is not to say that you don't understand your role because i know sometimes you don't ask because you don't you don't feel like you don't know what you're doing no the reason why you are asking this is because you want to understand the environment that you are possibly coming into and whether you would really like to be in that environment and so if they ask if you have a question don't ask them when can i expect a response hr is obliged is obliged to actually tell you that so you don't need to ask them that ask something with value ask something that will show that you're inquisitive that you want to understand it will put you in a better, better position it's not gonna make make you pass the interview but it's gonna leave a lasting impression to the people that are there so that is all when it comes to actually going for interviews and i hope that this was actually helpful please let me know on the section down below in the comment section if you found this valuable and what were the points that stood out for you what are the things that you didn't know but now you know and you want to actually focus more on please just go on the comment section and just let me know because i do appreciate your feedback and more than anything use this seriousness in your journey so what i would say is when you're applying go back and watch the first video when now you want to build your cv look at the second video and then when you get your your interviews go back to this last video and watch it don't really stress yourself about this last video if you know that you are still in the application stage but i would say that also you need to watch it obviously now so that you understand it but whenever it's time for going for an interview what i normally do is i'll go i go to youtube and then i would look at how to respond to certain questions so how do you become confident how do you tell how do you structure your tell us about your self response you know i look i watch those because they kind of give me an idea of how can i better present myself and so use these videos to equip yourself but more than anything always prepare because if you are prepared you're going to be confident it's not going to be easy it doesn't mean that the nerves are going to go away but you'll be more confident and you will have less stuttering moments or less um 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 in your responses which can really be annoying and so i hope that you found value in this video and that you enjoyed it so with that being said until i see you on the next one please take care and stay safe bye and good luck good luck on your job search i wish i'm wishing you all the best and you got this you got this bye